Hey guys, this is Pastor Ryan. Uh, I am our college and career ministry pastor. It's called Ignited. And uh, I'm just here today to, to share a quick word with you. Uh, this passage has encouraged me, it's challenged me, and I want to share that uh, with you guys. So the Bible tells us that uh, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And uh, in Hebrews 11, in the passage of the Hall of Faith, there's an example of someone whose treasure is truly what the heart of God is. So I'm going to read a couple of verses for you, and we'll get into it. Hebrews 11, starting in verse 24, it says, By faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to endure ill treatment with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, considering the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking to the reward. And I've been so challenged by this because we live in a society where we try to keep up with the Joneses and where people always tell us that we need bigger and better and newer. And I think about Moses and I think about um, everything that he could have had, but he decided to not take because of what he knew God was calling him to. And so I've been really challenged by this. I pray that, that you're challenged by it also because uh, w when people are, are asking us, well, what do you live for? Uh, I pray that we're not living for the next big thing. I pray that we're not living for uh, trying to get uh, better and, and bigger and we're trying to uh, just outdo our neighbor, but we're really truly living a life that glorifies the Lord. And, and I love what, what this scripture says that, that he chose to endure ill treatment with the people of God to enjoy, than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin. And I think sometimes the sin uh, of this world, it it's encapsulates us, it, it um, engulfs us, it, it, it does look pleasurable, but we know that it's only for a season. And so my encouragement to, to you and to myself as well is to set your focus and your eyes upon what God has for you. Uh, the, the passage ends in verse 26. It says, for he was looking to the reward. And we know that our reward uh, is eternal reward. And so as I think about this, I, I think about, well, what in my life um, am I not looking to Christ for? What, am, what in my life am I looking for an earthly reward rather than a, a heavenly reward? And I think about uh, what Jesus says in, in Matthew 16. Uh, he's speaking to his disciples and he says, For what will it profit a man uh, to gain the whole world but to lose his soul? And I, I think about that and I think about uh, just what are we in this life for? What are, what are you using your life for? Are you using this life uh, to really seek after the pleasures of this world? Or are you seeking, uh, using your life to seek after uh, what would please the Lord? And so I know I've been really uh, encouraged. I've actually been really challenged by this passage. It's been on my heart for a long time. And so I pray that as you think about your walk and as you think about what pushes you and what you're striving for, I, I pray that, that you too would be able to, to look at Moses uh, in, in this passage in Hebrews and say, you know what, I, I too do want to uh, put away and put behind me the, the, the sins that might engulf me and I want to seek the Lord because I know the treasure he has for me uh, far outweighs anything that I could ever have on this earth. Uh, God bless you guys and I'll see you soon.